The Honourable Member for Winnipeg Centre. Mr. Speaker, we know immense gaps remain in health outcomes between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Canadians. This is particularly true in urban areas like Winnipeg. We also know that one of the most stark needs in Indigenous communities is the area of mental health, especially when it comes to our youth. With significant recent investments in health care, can the Honourable Minister of Indigenous Services please update Canadians and the House of Commons on the work under, underway to make mental health supports more accessible for those who need it most? Good the Honourable Minister of Indig Indigenous Services. I want to thank the member from Winnipeg Centre for this important question. As he points out, the challenges that Indigenous peoples face in terms of mental wellness are complex and deep-rooted. We have made significant investments in this area, and many people already know about the Hope for Wellness line, which is now available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in five languages. The good news this week is that the Hope for Wellness line is now also available for online chat at hopeforwellness.ca. We hope many Indigenous people, particularly youth, will take advantage of this new opportunity to seek support. Here, here.